a convention of amateur telescope makers. It was originally, the club was originally started in 1923, but the convention started on July 4th, 1926. The main convention is two days, uh, Friday and Saturday, and we have a variety of events scheduled around amateur telescope making and astronomy. The main purpose is to teach people about telescope making. Um, I'm an amateur telescope maker and I've been coming to Stella Fane. I think this is my 27th year and you know I do a little bit of woodworking but I've built about five or six telescopes and made three telescope mirrors and I'm just fascinated by the idea. Um, this is a telescope that I built and it is sort of a reproduction of a telescope, an 18th century telescope. And it only has a one inch lens in the front, which is unusual. Why would you only have a one inch lens? But in that period of time, they couldn't make lenses larger than that. So all telescopes had that size. In the old days, if you wanted a telescope, you made your own because you couldn't afford to buy one. And Russell Porter, who was sort of the father of telescope making in the United States said, you know what, uh, we got an extra day, I'm going to have a club and we're going to learn to make telescope mirrors and telescopes. And that was the start of the Springfield Amateur Telescope Maker. Um, well, there's uh, the Pink Clubhouse, our most famous feature, which is the original clubhouse built in 1923, and it's literally painted uh, hot pink, which is a little unusual. And we also have some observatories where we uh, have made telescopes. So there's really interesting artifacts here. And most of it is nerdy, technical, optical stuff. But the telescopes made by some of our founding members, um, the wooden one was made by a pattern maker. And they were working with wood all the time, so he made his own wood. And most of them were machinists that work at Johnson Lampson. So they made their telescopes all out of metal parts. Um, James Hartness built this so that he could go downstairs in his slippers and his night coat and come down through this tunnel and come up into his observatory and never have to go outside in the snow. And he would have one of his um, employees go out, uncover the telescope, and they would get cold, but he would not. <laughs> and so this whole place is, um, you know, a, a museum of the history of the club, and Russell W. Porter, the founder, was maybe one of the last true Renaissance Men. He was a talented artist, he was a architect, he was a polar explorer, an engineer, optician. Yeah, then in the, in the Prohibition years, um, there, was a, there was a speakeasy, uh, there was a bar down here. It was actually a long hallway and you can actually, uh, when the police would show up at the front desk, they could push a buzzer and it would ring down here and everybody could go out. There's a secret doorway that goes out onto the hill and they could all walk back down to the village and there would be nobody here when the police showed up.